Uh, MSNBC did a piece where this woman, uh, she, both she and her husband was vaccinated and they went to an event and in that event, there were a lot of people not following the rules without mask, all that good stuff. Even though her husband was vaccinated, he had pre-existing conditions and likely something that made the vaccine less effective and he died. Listen to the story and then we'll take it on the other side. One Iowan reported testing positive for COVID about once every 50 seconds, according to the Des Moines Register. So what are you seeing and hearing out there? The jump in infection rates that we're seeing in this state right now, we really haven't seen here since about January. While deaths among people who are vaccinated is incredibly rare, it is happening. And we met one family in Iowa who experienced it. Ardith Keplinger says that she and her husband, Gary, contracted COVID-19 after attending an indoor gathering where there weren't any COVID protocols. Both she and Gary were fully vaccinated. They both both had pre-existing conditions. Ardith survived COVID-19, but Gary did not. Her family, they say that this death, it was entirely avoidable and they are angry. In his obituary, they wrote this, quote, he was one of several victims recently infected from an unmasked, unvaccinated person. Ardith told us that at least a dozen people were infected after attending that indoor gathering. She is hoping Gary's story reminds people that their choice, whether or not to get vaccinated and whether or not to follow COVID protocols, that it impacts the people around them. Here's more of what she told us. I have family members that don't agree with me and i guess that's their right but gary and i had rights too and he doesn't have them anymore. he had so much more to give so much more to teach the world a baby grandson that was born after he died that's what he's missing gary and ardith finished their moderna vaccine series at the end of february gary passed away on august 11th Dr. Jha, that brings home what Dr. Fauci, what you have been saying. The unvaccinated are choosing something for themselves, which is in defiance of science and also in defiance of helping others, being part of society. The reality is we all live in one community, one society, and the feature of an infectious disease is your choices are not your own alone. Your choices and your choice not to be vaccinated impacts everybody around you. And this is just one more really tragic example of that. Uh, we've got to do better. Yes, we've got to do better. And, and I have to take Eric out of line here. He says, uh, what does it tell you? Can we get uh, the happenings of vaccinated in Vermont, Israel and UK are dying at alarming rates too and also getting COVID? What is that telling us? What that is telling us is that you and unvaccinated people are, are bringing enough of a va viral load to have those people who are susceptible to breakthroughs who are fully vaccinated but susceptible to breakthrough. How are you susceptible to breakthroughs? If you're taking prednisone, if you're taking certain types of medication, it reduces the effectiveness of the vaccine because it reduces the effectiveness of your own immune system and therefore breakthroughs can occur. But it's still nowhere close the deaths that you will see and you continue to see in the unvaccinated people. The problem with the unvaccinated people is that they are the primary spreaders of the virus and not only are they the primary spreaders of the virus, they're the ones that are going to be the ones where the virus mutate in and get better and change to eventually likely defeat some one of these vaccines. They are natural born, even though some of them just because of the ignorance that they hear from the people that they get their news from. But they're, they're, they're killing others, just like this woman said here. They are killing other people. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.